the lighting is kind of terrible, but we're at the Mount St. Helens, like, volcanic monument. We're going to be getting some footage of Mount St. Helens, and I'm um, going to be doing some, basically, some sightseeing. Here's, like, a stump thing that was in there. Um, the hard sheer tree stem victim of the May 18th, 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption. It's pretty cool looking. Right there. So anyways, yeah, now we're going to watch a movie. I don't think I'm going to have the camera on in the no. movie because that's just rude and nobody wants to see that. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah, I think that's actually over there. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Shire, come on. Hey, we're not doing that page. I said, pick a page that we can do. You have been talking about that page for five minutes now. So, it doesn't matter. My goodness. Look at this. Pretty interesting. Nice, right, look at this right here. 1952 game fish seasons and catch limits. Wow. I wish I could look inside of it. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. See, so, yeah, going down into. Bravo to do it? Looks like down in here. Basically, what some of the can't really see. Going up from here. I know the lighting really, really, really sucks, but sorry, kid. There's nothing really I can do about it. This is basically what the volcano kind of looks like, and what we were just in is basically what it looks like underneath. Here's some rocks. How about ice? How about the lake was frozen? And so the fish was frozen. No! Right in there. Here's some out of a grouse, I believe. Right there. This lighting sucks. Yeah, see, there we go. Rough grouse. Then you got a Canadian goose. Right there. This is kind of like a memorial for this guy. I don't know who he is, but it's a memorial. Alright, let's go look at some more stuff. Here's sort of like a 3D map kind okay, of thing. Okay, so yeah, so here's where you're... Here's a... Uh, you're all right here, it's pretty big. Right up in here. There's the camera right there, and I'm gonna go walk over there. Well, Silver Lake is like right here, and then look, mm -hmm. there's no fishing. Mm -hmm. That sucks. I'm on here. I came here to go fishing, and then we find a dope lake and we can't fish it. Oh, also, I guess it's a nature tour now. See, look, there's a nice tree right there. There's a nice shrub right there. See how good this video's video is? It's gonna be lit. Let's keep walking. Probably getting some dope views of my face right now. Oh, look, we're gonna turn a corner. There's a bench right there. This is from the 1760s era. Um, actually, George Washington sat on that bench. And um, actually, Leonardo da Vinci touched this tree right here. See, you're learning a lot from watching Tales and Reels. 
historical facts. Write this down. Tell your history teacher when you get to school. Dope. Ooh, this looks like a good area to get some um, footage of Mount St. Helens. Ah, here we go. See, look at that. It's right there. Set this up right here. I don't know if I can zoom all the way over there, but Mount St. Helens is right there. Let's get some photos. Well, it says no hunting right there, but it looks like someone removed the no fishing sign. But why would anyone want to hunt here? It's like a nature preserve. I don't think there's going to be any ducks here. But see, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. It's like a little swampy area. Oh, well, there is water right there. It's a couple inches deep. I mean, if you cast out there, you might catch, like, grass or something. But this is, even if we could fish it, um, I don't think I would want to fish it. It looks a little crappy. See, here's a dope bench. Get some nature shots. Boom, nature shots. Really quite beautiful. Mountains right over there. More nature shots. This is kind of like the Florida wetlands. I've never been to Florida, but... If I were to go to Florida, this is basically kind of what it looked like. I'm not sure. You know, let's just keep walking. I don't know how long this goes, but... If I find, like, a bedded largemouth that's, like, seven pounder, it's gonna be tempted not to go grab my fishing rod and cast, like, a jig in there. See? Ooh, there's actually some deep water up here with some lilies. Yeah, the fish could live in there. If you look at that. Where are you, bass? Where are you? A little murky. Keep walking. Man, there's actually... Hmm. Look at this. I mean, who wouldn't want to fish that? Anyways, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, oh yeah. More dope scenic shots at the mountain. Right there. Let's see, let's take a couple photos. Nature is so freaking beautiful. I know you're kind of getting tired of the Mount St. Helens shots, but as further I make it down this trail, the more beautiful the mountain gets. See right here, all this, all this you see right here, yeah. is like all, used to be like all, it used to be like a creek, but then like the lava and the mud and crap, mm -hmm. like carved into a lake. Mm -hmm. And then now you got this beautiful little swamp thing, but you can't fish it. I mean, there's probably fish in here, but you can't fish it. I mean, it's like, oh, sure, Nathan, go sneak in there. Break the rules. It's like, no. This is family-friendly content, and we try to do everything absolutely legal on the Teals and Reels show. Family-friendly Teals and Reels. Okay? Ooh, cool. Wow. Slash marks. But that's dope. All right, there's more Mount St. Helens. There's actually silver like right there. This right here is kind of like a little swampy area. There's probably fish. All right guys, so we found a place to fish right now. I'm using like a little jig, like a real micro finesse jig right now. And um, I just ripped it out of one's mouth. I don't know if it's coming back or not, but I'm gonna take one more cast and I think we're gonna have to go since we're a little short on time. I'm just using a little micro finesse jig with a craw. 
Well guys, we are finally entering Oregon right now. See, look at it. It is 520 at the moment. Um, we kind of had, um, kind of got delayed since there was a crash on southbound of I-5 and that we're slowed down for basically like, I don't know, how long were we slowed down, Beth? Probably about an hour. Probably about an hour. We we're going like a mile an hour. So, yeah, anyways, we're going to make it here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to pick up our Oregon license today or go to Cabela's. But we're probably going to do that pff, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Oh, there's people being idiot drivers ahead of us. Anyways, yeah, we're going to pick up our Oregon license maybe tomorrow. I'm going to go fishing with, with one of my... Um, uncle's friends and his bow we're going to be going somewhere in Washington State near Mount St. Helens where we were um anyways I think I'll see you at the motel I'm not sure all right guys we're back home we're in our hotel now um I think I'm just going to edit for the rest of the night tomorrow I'm going on the big fishing trip and then let's see Saturday is going to be kind of like our free day to do probably maybe pond hopping shopping stuff like that Sunday, we're going to be going to um, a cousin's house. It's going to be like on a farm. We're going to spend like the whole day there. We might, there's like a creek on the farm. We might check it out and we might do some hunting for like rock chucks. Rock chucks are kind of like a groundhog thing or kind of thing. They're like a little gopher. And I don't know what else we're going to be doing. Just basically spending down there. And then Monday, we drive back and we're going to hit a few stores along the way and we're going to hit a few ponds along the way on the way back. So I guess it's been another episode of Teals and Reels, Oregon Day 1, out.